You decided that you want to improve your art skills and you tell yourself, I'm going to draw for hours every day. Maybe you manage to keep it up for a week or two before you burn out or you run out of things to draw. Or even worse, maybe you drew every day for months but feel like you've made very little improvement. Today, I want to tackle the three common mistakes many artists make when starting a daily routine so that you can effectively and sustainably draw every day. Instead of starting out with drawing for a couple hours every day, start with only a few minutes. For example, with 10 minutes of drawing every day, you can get some great gesture studies going. This is what I did when I first started. I spent the first 5 minutes drawing one pose per minute, and then 5 minutes for drawing one pose. And after the 10 minutes were up, I had drawn 6 poses. And if you guys are interested in seeing some of my gesture breakdowns, leave a comment below and I'll make sure to make a video for it. But anyways, once you feel like you've built a routine, steadily increase the amount of time you draw and eventually, you'll get to drawing to a few hours every day. Also, there is nothing wrong with only drawing a few minutes here and there. The most important thing is consistency. But let's say you're getting tired of drawing these gesture warm-ups every day, and you just don't know what else to draw. This leads us to our second topic, which is structure. Oftentimes, trying to figure out what you want to draw can be a challenge in itself, and might even lead you to not wanting to draw at all. If you are a beginner artist, perhaps you can start by exploring the fundamentals of drawing human characters. This can go from gestures, basic shapes, proportions, and even anatomy. Or perhaps you can create your own story and start planning out each week what you want to tackle. Character designs, storyboarding, you name it, you're in charge. Or you can actually join me live on Twitch, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, where you can draw along with me. I share a new reference image every week on my Discord, and together we go over how to break down all of these poses. But no matter how you go about it, doing a little bit of planning up front will guarantee that you can keep up your routine in the long run. Speaking of joining me on Twitch, the last topic I want to go over is sharing your journey with an art community. As artists, we are very critical of our own drawings, and it can lead us to not seeing our progress or even knowing how to progress further. When building a daily routine, it can help to share your journey with others that can help give you constructive feedback on how to take things to that next level. Online platforms such as Instagram can be a good place to start, but I would be careful not to get into the rabbit hole of focusing on getting likes for affirmation. On my Discord server, we have a lot of amazing artists that share their progress, things they might be struggling with, and also lots of great tips and suggestions. We have different channels ranging from showing art, asking for critiques, and even sharing art resources. We also have a bunch of other channels as well, but I'll leave that up to you to check out. Overall, the most important things to help you build a productive and sustainable drawing routine are consistency, structure, and community. Once I built up the habit of drawing every day, I genuinely found it to be less stressful and I was able to see a lot of growth. 